good, my boys? How are you all doing? We are here, finally, on some MXGP5, MXGP 2019, whatever you want to call it. It has finally arrived, and without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. I am very excited to play this game because, for one, let's go ahead and pick MX2 here. For one, it's power to see. We have factory teams back in the game. You got HRC Honda. You know what I'm saying? You got the Red Bull KTM, you got the Monster Energy Yamaha, and you got the Rockstar Scabana, like and there's all the other teams as well. I'm not super in depth with the uh, MXGP series in real life, so I'm not sure what teams might be missing from this, but there's a lot of teams on here. There's a lot of teams on here, and boy, does it look good. It looks so, so cool, man. They give you the sponsors on the jersey and everything, man. Like, it looks so good, but the other thing is pretty cool too. If you go ahead and press LT here, you can go over to the sponsors. <clears throat> now you see, the sponsors don't take up the whole entire bike. They only take up like one part of the bike, right? So now let's go ahead, you know, just for, just for, you know, I guess example purpose, go ahead and select a sponsor here. We'll select the bike as well. We'll pick something else here in a minute, but uh, go to customization. And then you go over here to bike. Then you go over here to graphics. Then you go over here to sponsor. You pick any left side, right side, but you can actually adjust the logo on the bike. That is super cool and really dope, man. I'm not sure if people ask for this or not. I'm pretty sure they probably have, but if they didn't, or if they did, either way, milestone good on you. Because them other graphics kids were straight ugly. All right. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and uh, actually go right for official team. They, they, they look so cool. I like the way the jerseys look with the you know sponsors on there. So the other cool thing about, well, I'm kind of half and half with this because. I like the fact that if you pick the team, you had to stay with that team. It's kind of like real life, you know, your contract to ride these certain amount of, you know, races are this certain amount of time. You got a two-year contract, whatever. Uh, it, but it's also pretty cool that you can actually go back to contract and then you can actually ride for somebody else. So you can pick a team and you can really go back next race and ride for a whole other team. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I already have everything unlocked, but for the sake of the first part of the series, we'll go ahead and we'll ride... Uh, a level you see it to the right right there you see a level uh, available at level 10 available at level 1 and it goes on and on and on uh, I think with 20 I think 20 then they have 30 I think 30 is the last one for 250s on the 450s is level 40 for like the HRC team all that stuff so that's pretty cool but right now we'll go ahead and pick a level 1 team because that's what you guys will be playing with on your first day playing the game so we'll go ahead and ride we'll go ahead and ride a Yamaha we'll, know, we'll, we'll do a little bit of that Supercross uh, Supercross I guess play through style, I guess, whatever, riding Yamaha for the first ride. So go ahead and ride the Yamaha. Race options right now. I'm gonna go ahead and ride with the everything maxed out. Now physics, I have a lot to talk about this. What, what we'll do here is we'll ride in standard mode real quick, all right? And I'm gonna tell you why I do this in a minute. Let's go ahead and dive into our first race. Sunshine, sunshine, no rain. I think my first race here, it rained like crazy, but no rain today. Be good to go, which is pretty cool. We got the bike set, we got the sessions. Uh, you know, you can go through the sessions you want, whatnot. You got, you know, quick sessions, skip time, all that stuff. Bike set's pretty cool. You got suspension. There's a lot of detail too. You can kind of go through and mess with that. All the stuff you, all you want. That does help out quite a bit. Gear ratio, pretty cool. You can actually have a, you have a preset here, but you can also change it up on your own as well. You got brake response. You got modular. You got aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Pretty cool. Uh, you got accelerator mapping. You can you know same thing, aggressive, modular, whatever. Uh, you got wheel base. This is pretty cool. You can you know make it shorter, make it longer to kind of you know longer for better stability. Uh, going you know just going straight, whatever, and then like, you know you can turn better with a shorter uh, swing arm. It's pretty cool. Uh, and you got the management, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you, you got a whole bunch of these. You have a you have a setup for each track you ride. It's pretty dope. So there's that. Let's go ahead and dive into our first practice. This will be my only video I'm gonna do practice on because. There's no point in doing it, and it's going to make the video longer for no reason. So, um, so right now, like I say, we're in standard mode because I want to show you guys something. So, just pay attention to how I corner, right? Pay attention to how I corner. Just make sure, double check, make sure it's on. Okay, it's on standard, okay. So, dude, just double check, or just double check. Just keep looking at how I'm cornering. You see how I'm kind of tracking around the whole entire corner? Just look. Look how I'm not sliding, I'm tracking around the whole corner. You saw that? So the back end didn't get crazy and silly. So that's that's one thing. So just keep looking at the no, look at, look at that back tire. You'll see a slide every now and then. But for the most part, you see right there? See how it's tracked on the whole tire corner? Let's go ahead and dive into advanced settings. 
This is why I. This is one thing that bothered me a lot about this game. And I'm gonna save it for my review, but I want to talk about it now. Um, so now look at the back end. Let's keep keep out on that back end now. Let's keep out on that back end in these corners. Keep out on that back end in these corners. That was a pretty good corner actually. Let's see here. You see, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> that wasn't that bad though. It's actually not that bad. I think I remember I first I first played. I did that so many times, but I am getting a little better at the game. So if you guys have the game, let me know how you feel about the advanced physics and how much you slide. It's not that bad on this track, I've noticed. I remember that on the 450s too. I remember when I, when I first when I first moved up. I still slide a lot though. I still slide a lot. But I remember, I remember, see right there? Yeah, I just fell over. Uh, I remember in the 450 class, I remember riding here. I was like, you know what? It's not that bad. Then I went to other tracks and I was sliding everywhere. Um, that's one thing that I was gonna say for my review, but I have to say it now. Um, there's one thing about this game that I don't really like is the advanced settings cornering. You slide, it's not that bad here, but you slide so much, so much. Uh, I wanna leave it on advanced for the whole series because it makes it more difficult because uh, the AI is actually pretty fast in this game. But I'm gonna put it back to standard and then look at my cornering now. Let's look at my cornering now. Look at my <laughs> I'm on the gas. Look at my cornering now. I feel like it's I feel like it's too easy. They need like a like an in-between setting to where you slide a little. I mean, really though, with all these ruts, you really shouldn't be sliding that much. Like this track looks like it's kind of like a little bit sandy and uh kind of kind of loamy, kind of oh wow, kind of deep. You got some little ruts here and there. So I feel like you probably shouldn't slide that much here. Um, so that's that's one thing why I kind of don't like standard or advanced advanced uh, physics because you slide right over ruts. You just slide, 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 slide. But right, look at that right there. I just came in that corner. I was gone. Came in this corner. I'm gone. I still didn't use any ruts, but um, I was gone. Um, so that's that's one thing. But I am gonna go ahead and, and use the advanced settings because it's more challenging. It be it be fun. The AI's gonna whip my ass every now and then. So. All right, so I did a few more laps off screen. Cut it out because I want the video to be a thousand minutes long. We uh, qualified P1. This is the qualifying race right here. I think uh, for the next upcoming races or videos, what I'll do is I'll cut the practice and the qualifying out because um, I don't want these videos to be a million minutes long. So, whole shot, let's go. Oh, got sketchy. Let me be careful at the slide out. Oh, get sketchy. I'm not, it's not half bad though. Like this track, I don't know why. I, I remember, I remember when I hopped on my 450 class. I didn't do the whole season, but um, I remember I was able to ride this track way better for some reason. And I was like, oh, okay, it's fixed. So I hopped on a Honda next race and it was like super slippery. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the same thing happened for this class. We'll see next episode. But uh, I feel pretty good right now. I'm a little better than I was when I first played this. Um, but I do want to go. Uh, I can't talk to that. I do want to go ahead and dive into something uh, which is kind of important. So if you guys are just watching this before you go out and buy the game, you want to hear my opinion on it. My opinion on this game is basically like Supercross, the game, uh, but outdoors. If you like Supercross, I think you'll like this. This game is a lot better than Pro. I'm gonna say that right now. This game is a lot better than Pro, uh, especially if you kind of figure out how to manipulate the drift, which I don't. See, the thing is, like, yeah, you can drift and, you know, make it cool or make it fast or, you know, be able to, like, kind of figure out the slide in this game. So I kind of figure out how to drift a little bit. Well, I'm a little sketchy if I'm doing it, but I'm not doing that bad right now. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. But basically what I was getting to is that, yeah, you can drift and kind of manipulate the slide in this game, but you really shouldn't be drift. Like, Donut said it best. You really shouldn't be drifting all the time. You shouldn't be drifting 24-7 in a dirt bike game. You don't drift 24/7 in real life because that's slower. It's better to hit a rut or to go through or track through a corner than be drifting the whole entire time. You're just losing traction and you know, you know, potentially slide out. You know, it's it shouldn't be a part of this game. I feel like drifting should not be a part of this game. You should be reeling ruts, not drifting. Um, I mean, keep the drift in the game, but at least give us some ruts to rail too. You know what I'm saying? Even some pre-made ruts would be cool. Whoa, that was sketchy. Um, but yeah, well, I'm, do I'm doing pretty damn good, y'all might, I might, uh, might win this, man, this is crazy, I'm way out here. 
I want y'all to know though, I want you guys to know that AI is actually difficult. I don't know why I'm doing so good right now. I don't know what's going on, I don't know what happened. Um, but the AI is actually really good in this game. I do want to say that is is actually really, really fun. Um, especially at tracks like they're that they're just better than you at because there's certain tracks, especially right on uh, advanced physics, there's certain tracks sketch right there, um, that they can corner really well at, and you have to do that drifting thing to even get around it. There's certain tracks that they just, they can just go around like they have their own invisible rut. You're sitting there drifting and drifting, they go right around you. So that makes them more fun to go against. That's why I'm gonna leave this on realistic, even though I don't want to, uh, because of that right there. I could have just railed around that corner in standard mode, but I don't know, the more I play in this, I'm figuring it out, but sometimes I figure it out, and sometimes I'll play a different track and I'm sliding everywhere again. But what I can say is uh, a setup will help. A setup does definitely help in this game. Um, so definitely get you a setup if you are having trouble sliding. I don't really have a setup because I've been playing alone for so long, so I'm trying to work on one right now. Uh, I'm trying one right now at this point in time. It does seem to work a little better. You can make your bike turn better. You can make it just track a lot better too. So this setup is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna dabble with it a little bit more. I'm trying to find me a better setup. Um, but this track also, you don't slide that much. Like I said earlier, this track is actually pretty good for sliding. You can still see it. Like right here, if I get on the gas, you'll still see it. See it. See it. But um, see right there. I, yeah, I got. So you, you, I was. I've been. I've been being timid that whole entire time. But as soon as you get on it, that happens right there. So. I'm figuring this game out, but I have my hot days and cold days too, so we'll see next episode how I do. I'm uh, not too uh, stoked on it, but that track is sick. That next track we ride uh, has some really good ground deformation. It, I'm pretty sure it has the best ground deformation in the game. It's, it's wild, bro, how deep those ruts get. It's wild. And it's kind of confusing. I remember my first time riding it. I couldn't tell if the ruts were working, and I still don't know, because I remember I would catch sometimes, and then I would try to do it again, and it wouldn't catch. If you see these ruts right here, I'm going over all these ruts. Like, these, not one rut has caught me this whole entire time. So, but that, oh, it's right there. All those ruts there, and not one caught me. Um, but that next track, wait till you see those ruts. Those ruts are insane, man. They are out of this world. Um, man, they are on the cheeks. Oh, my God. You see what I'm saying? This is, like, the best I've ridden ever in this game. And I'm... <laughs> And I, I'm like barely even beating these fools. Jesus Christ. But the AI, I love the AI. Milestone, if you watch this, your AI in this game is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, they could they can make them faster, but man, that would be brutal. Because I'm telling you, some, some of these tracks, they are so hard to beat. Because they just turn so much better than you. And then they're aggressive. Like, they will, they will put it in on you, bro. Like, they will, they will find a slither of space and they will block past you and take you all the way outside <laughs> like i love the ai in this game it's so much better than the previous ai and i feel like the ai is also better because it's an outdoor track like i think supercross kind of just makes the ai say what you know what i mean so but yeah it's kind of like my two cents this game I, I like this game a lot i like this a lot better than pro i love this game it's a really good game man it's solid i just hope and pray that multiplayer is not as bad as it was in pro. I remember my first stream in pro. I think we did four races and three of them I got kicked out of. I think I was I think I was mid race and it kicked me out. And that's when I said we're playing something else. <laughs> and the game had just came out. Like pro, I liked pro, but at the exact same time, it's it's slid even more than this. And this even slides. Oh, I meant to show you guys. Sorry, I'm kind of like moving right there. You guys can now you can scrub off that and then you can bring it back it looks super sick and slow mo it looks so dope it looks realistic almost all right so that was the qualifying race now it's time to hop on to the actual racing will you look at this it's raining it's actually raining right now it, the rain came out of nowhere it's not coming down that hard i've seen it worse than this it's not coming down that hard i've seen it a lot a lot a lot worse than this all right let's do this here we go that cow looks so sexy. Oh my god, I love that cow. That cow looks so good. I'm not gonna lie, the 450 cowards to me are ugly, but the 250 still look. I get it. Oh, I snuck in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. But yeah, um, like I was saying before, I cut to this race. Um, I would love to 
uh, do a lot of multiplayer stuff. Oh, see, I hate whipping in this game. I hate the whipping in this in, in all these games. I hate it because you just you have no control of the bike after you whip. It feels like you know what I mean. Like I know you can get better at it, but I just do not like the whipping in this game. I'm getting sketchy as hell. Oh my god. See, that's why I like advanced mode for that. You get super sketchy. I love it. I've seen myself and even the AI. I think the AI is on the same thing as you are, except they don't slide as much. But I've seen them just swap out and die, bro. It was amazing. Like, I've done it too. I'm like, ooh, that's pretty damn dope. Like, if you land kind of lopsided, you will bust your ass. Oh, I see smoke. Yo, hashtag smoke and confetti, my boys. You know, I haven't seen confetti in a long time. I've not seen confetti in these games since I think it was an MXGP3 or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, bring back the confetti. Yo, hashtag milestone, bring back the confetti, all right? Hashtag confetti, you know what I'm saying? Bring back the confetti. We need the confetti, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm feeling pretty. I'm, I'm actually riding really good, and they are uh, they're lurking. They're lurking pretty hard. Like, this is the best I've ridden in this game since I got it. So, it's probably because I'm recording right now. I'm trying to show off for you guys. Hopefully, we can keep that up. Probably won't be able to keep that up. <laughs> but, yeah, man. I'm going to try to remember to scrub on the last lap so you guys can see that slow motion bring back. It looks pretty dope. It actually looks really sick. I'm glad they fixed that. That's super cool. Like, it's, it's funny because Milestone has given us a lot of things we asked for. But these whips, they, 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 they ain't bring these whips back, bro. They, like, I don't know, man. I, I feel like the whips are, they're like, I don't know, they might have a hard time figuring them out. So that's why they haven't really tried to change them. They're kind of like, well, if it ain't too broke, don't fix it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because like we, a lot of things we asked for, like two strokes and they brought back the real teams and stuff like that. And they got the track editor. Um, the ground information still needs work. But it looks better. It looks it, the ground information is the best it's ever been in my opinion for these games. Like this looks amazing. Ooh, I'm gonna slid out. Um, gotta be careful. <laughs> but yeah, man, you definitely need to up these whips, my friends. Like, come on, milestone. But I like this game a lot, man. I, I'm, I'm hoping it does well. I'm hoping that. Um, I hope it. I hope it does well online. Like you know what I mean? Like. I'm not in kudos with Milestone, but I would love to play this online. I like their games. I like Milestone games, what they are. Um, and I see them making progress. I see them getting better. They have, I feel like Milestone, I've said this, I think I said this before. Milestone has the potential to make the best dirt bike game of all time. What's stopping them, I feel like, is their ground deformation for one, and their whips. Like their air physics, I feel like it's gotten a lot better because you can move around a little bit. I know. I kind of harped on them uh, having some crazy, like, how you can, let me see, still have it in this game. I'm pretty sure it's still in this game. Let me see. Let's jump uh, this over here. So that's, that's, that's actually kind of better. That's not, yeah, they kind of, yeah, you don't, you don't just freaking shoot to the side of the track. And then I know, so I kind of like, kind of back here on the whips. Like, so for the whips, when I said that you lose control. And like I know you shouldn't like, I was saying you shouldn't be able to like move the bike in the air but what I'm saying is like in other games I don't have to move in the air really I can I'm already setting myself up because I just the whips feel that good you know what I'm saying like I'm not saying you should be able to maneuver in the air after you whip I'm saying that the whips feel so weird with the stick like you know stick movement that I can't really set myself up sometimes I mean you can you know what I mean? you can get good at it I just feel like they they can definitely improve on the whips. That's like one of the biggest things that people want. And also, like, let us do backflips. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know it's not like, that's not what this game is. I understand they're trying to like go for like, oh, we want to be like a, like an official game. But let us do backflips. You know what I'm saying? Like, give us that freedom. Let us do actual wheelies. You know, you can kind of do them in advanced physics. You can wheel tap in this physics too. It's pretty dope. Like, wheel tap. But you, when you willy, you still got that like limiter. It's like let us willy, let us, let us do a backflip. You know what I'm saying? You can, add, you know what I mean? Add a knack knack or something you can do. You know, I know you're not trying to be like all out or whatever, but it's like you know, add, add a little more freedom to the game. Make it a solid game. You know what I'm saying? Make, you know, make people be able to do stuff cool. You know, like don't go overboard. Don't fucking go. Don't go full blown Saints Row on us. You know what I'm saying? But like, just add a little more freedom to the game. Like, you, like this. This is a good package as it is. They're just missing, uh, like you know, whips, 
and the ground information is mainly like you know what I'm saying if they if they really want to stick to their old oh god no if they they're starting to come down y'all see the rain it's starting to come down holy crap um if they want to stick to like their realistic feeling games you need to let us build have some really cool whips that feel similar to like like try to manipulate simulated whips man how you have to lean back and then you know lean you know like how mx sims whips work are phenomenal like that is a once you figure it out it's amazing and it feels amazing and it feels real you know what i'm saying i'm whooping they ash right now i'm telling you right now look tell you guys right now believe me when i say the ai is hard in this game all right i'm just i've I got like 25 hours in this game <laughs> and they still whip my ass on some tracks so yeah just don't i don't know why i'm doing so good right now but trust me the ai is i mean once you get good they're gonna be they're gonna get easier to beat of course i'm saying but like when you first play and you put this mess on realistic whoo they fast as hell boy but um yeah, like i was saying man this game is almost there like i see it I believe in milestone man and then they also got they got bought out by thq nordic that's pretty cool so i mean oh there, see, there you go there you go see i whipped out and brought it back so now i can flatten it out make it straight again pretty dang dope so we got the first race win right there let's go ahead and dive into the next one all right so it's still raining i want to say one thing though that yamaha looks amazing bro looks phenomenal all right let's go ahead and dive into this so last race, here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash like button for your boy. I'm trying to bring y'all the best content I can. Um, just, I'm telling you guys right now, for the next episodes, bear with me. I remember I first played this game. I was pretty decent here, too. I was not as good as I am now, but I was pretty decent here, too. I just know the next race is not going to go this well. So just stay with me, man. We're going we gonna to be struggling, but we're going to get through it, all right? <laughs> those, those Kawasaki's look so damn good. Oh, my God. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video... Let me know. I greatly appreciate it. Um, just trying to keep grinding, man. I'm trying to keep on posting. I'm very, very grateful for you guys, you know, still watching the channel. To the few guys that do still watch. Uh, I know I took that long break. I kind of been fizzling out a little bit on these games. But I took this break, man. And, and like, every game is fun to me. I haven't really been enjoying All Out too much. I'm not going to lie to y'all. All Out, to me, I don't, I'm probably not going to be playing too much All Out. Uh, here in the near future and I'm not saying all is a bad game but just for me I think I'm going to just leave all out alone I, I will try to keep playing it though I've been trying to play it I, I just enjoy I, I, I much rather play I cannot talk to that I swear to god I much rather play this reflex and especially MX Sim like, I'm playing a lot of MX Sim but I really like I've been really liking Supercross I don't know why I've been really liking Supercross because when I was playing it when I was burnt out I even enjoyed it back then so I really enjoy it now, and this is just like Supercross. And I really enjoy this too. Um, but I am gonna do a review on this game. I got a lot more I want to say, but I don't want to give all my stuff away in this one video. Um, but the sliding is still gonna be a factor. Just trust me. This track, for some reason, oh my, for some reason this track is really good with the sliding. Uh, I remember, I remember the track being good for the sliding. It's, it's not that bad. And I'm also kind of figuring the game out a little bit here too. But, with that being said, I feel like if you just play some more and you get a, a good setup, it won't be as bad. But the bottom line is, they need to actually have some ruts. Like, even if you get used to it, if it gets competitive, it, it gets fun. It will be fun over, over time once you get better. But the sliding, I think, has got to go, man. Y'all need some ruts, Milestone. Come on, man. They got ruts up the lips and stuff. It looks so cool. Like, their ground information is definitely a lot better in this game. It's, it's really good, man. I would like to see this in Supercross. Because in Supercross, there are some ruts. Like, there's actually ruts in Super. Wow. I mean, I'm talking about in real life. You know what I mean? Like, some tracks are crazy with the ruts, you know? And uh, I feel like Supercross just has, like, damn near no ruts. Unless it's raining, you know? Like, there's really no real ruts in Supercross. That form up, at least. So, it, I mean, they're there. But it's like, have y'all seen some of those Supercross tracks, man? With the crazy, like five foot deep ruts off the lane <laughs> ain't that deep but they, they pretty damn deep you know what i'm saying you put your foot in there you can't see your foot no more you know what i'm saying up to your calf and stuff there's some really deep ruts in supercross when it's not raining so that'd be cool to see that uh be applied to the next supercross game that'd be pretty dope man but i'm not gonna lie man i'm i really like this game I really like this game it's better than pro um i still don't know how long it'll last because these games just don't last that long and it's still it's let's be real it's still not a groundbreaking, you know what I mean? Like, they didn't change a whole lot. 
They just kind of refined it. It feels good. It, they're changing each game. So if you really go back and you look at their older games, you'll see how much they changed. You know what I'm saying? So they just need to break, unlock that whip you know, and the ground information. I feel like they got themselves a gem here. This is amazing. It'd be cool to see if uh, Rainbow and Milestone kind of link up and share some ideas. That'd be cool. Really dope, man. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm trying to make some good content for you guys, man. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. I will be. I'm gonna be pre-recording. Okay, so that's why I'm changing bikes. All right, so I'm gonna have a different bike for the next race. Each race, I will be on a different bike and a different team. Okay, so that way, if you guys want to see different bikes, you'll get it. Because I'm gonna be pre-recording these. Uh, I won't pre-record too far, but just know like the next. We'll see like five maybe five five videos will be pre-recorded okay so just look out for those so i think i'm gonna drop those every single day i will have a schedule those will be up every single day at the exact same time every single day all right and then i'm gonna be dropping supercross probably every other day and then i'm gonna be dropping vlogs every so often okay now i'm gonna be streaming but i don't have like a schedule for that so that is that so that's what's going on in the future so if you guys just found my channel and you like my humor or whatever and you enjoy just know from here on out uh 34 videos will be uploaded every single day because i'm doing 17 of this 17 of 450 i'm not gonna miss a day i promise you i will not miss a day okay this is one that i can, I can promise because i can record it right now and it'll be done so i will not miss a day uh mxgp every single day and then that's going to be the end of the career mode though because I'm going to be focusing on multiplayer. And once that dies, then I'm just going to be playing sim probably. <laughs> I want to play multiplayer. There's no point in playing career mode over and over again. It's going to get boring. You know what I mean? So, we, uh, that's my, that's my plan right now. That's my plan. Oh, I'm going to die. I hate the whips. I hate the whips. I hate them so much. Oh, my God. I hate them. Here they come. Oh, no. <laughs> Here they come. Good God, bro. But, uh, yeah, man. That's gonna, oh my god, the sliding is insane. Even more when it's raining though, the mud is kicking in. I like I like how it was drizzling at first, and it started coming down, homie. It's crazy. Oh, what that didn't show uh, is this. Check this out, hold on, if I can get into the, I don't wanna get past, but go to goggle mode real quick, and then let's, let's see if we get like a little speck of dirt. Come on, dirt, hurry up, dirt. Hurry up, dirt, dirt, hurry up. Oh my god, come on, give me some dirt, give me some dirt. I can't turn. Go, go, go. Okay, we got dirt. We got dirt. You press select. Tear off. That's so dope. That's so dope. I love that. I love that. Love it. All right. Let's go now. I'm not, you know, it's funny. I'm not very good first person in this game. I don't know why. I was pretty good in other ones. But the first person in this game, I don't know why. It feels like I'm getting seasick. I don't know. It's weird. But I'm going to try to get, get better at it. Hope I can get better at it. But with that being said, though, guys, that will be the video. And we'll be back with the next uh, chapter tomorrow. So like I said, every single day I'm uploading these things, man. Uh, so for 30, so 34 days, so for a month, you guys will be getting these every single day. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed, I will catch y'all. Ooh, let, look, you bring it back. I love that. I love that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a nice day. Have a nice life. We just went 1-1. One, one. That's dope, man. So you guys stay up. Have yourself a good one. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Your boy out here. Let's go.